Let's talk about one of the topics in business math for grade 11 students. One of the big players in the loan game, the mortgage. A mortgage is a loan in which the lender may use your property as payment. This is when you use your property like your house as a collateral to secure a loan. The person borrowing the money is called the mortgager. And the folks giving you the money are the mortgages. The legal document that makes it all official is called a mortgage deed. It's like a promise that you'll pay back the money. And if you don't, they take your property away. Now to understand this better, let's have an example. If the selling price of the house and lot is 550,000 pesos with a required 20% down payment, what is the mortgage loan? Let us first compute the down payment. To calculate the down payment, down payment is equal to the purchase price times the down payment rate, which in this case, 20%. But we need to convert this to decimal. So to convert this to decimal, we move two units to the left. So from here, one, two. So that's equal to 0 0.2. Then we're gonna multiply that to the purchase price which is 550,000 pesos. Now, the 20% of 550,000 pesos is equal to 110,000 pesos. So that means this is the initial payment made by the buyer, Mr. De La Cruz, when purchasing a property, in this case, 20%. The next question now is the mortgage loan. Now, the mortgage loan is equal to the purchase price minus the down payment we which we just computed earlier and the down payment is equal to 110,000 pesos the purchase price is 550,000 pesos this is the initial amount now the mortgage loan is 440,000 pesos the mortgage loan is the amount of money that the lender or any financing company provides to the borrower, in this case, Mr. De La Cruz. The next question now is, how much is gonna be his monthly amortization? Amortization means dividing a loan into a set of regular payment. It's breaking down a big amount of money that you borrow into smaller manageable pieces that you pay back over time. These smaller payments are often called installments because you pay them in regular intervals like monthly or annually. The term of the loan is the total number of payment, how long it will take you to pay back the entire loan by making these regular payments. So annually means you make one payment every year. So if your loan term is 10 years, you'll make 10 payments, one each year. Semi-annually means you make payments every six months. If your loan term is 10 years, you'll make 20 payments, one every six months. Quarterly means you make payments every three months. For a 10-year loan, you'll make 40 payments, one every three months. Monthly is the most common and you make payment every month. For a 10-year loan, you'll make 120 payments, one each month. So the choice is how often you make these payments it depends on your agreement with the lender and what you find most convenient based on your financial situation. It's important to understand the term when you borrow the money. The formula for a monthly amortization is denoted by capital letter A, that's monthly payment, equals I times P times the quantity of one plus I raised to the power of N all over the quantity of one plus I raised to the power of N minus one, where A again is the monthly payment. Uh, P is the loan's initial amount. The other term for this is principal amount. I is the periodic interest rate and N is the total number of periods or payments. Let's go back to the problem, same problem, same situation. If a house and lot is worth 550,000 pesos with 20% down payment, 30 years to pay, what is the monthly payment? The house and lot at 6% interest rate. So let's do this step by step. Uh, the first step is to get the down payment. We calculated this earlier. The 20% of 550,000 pesos is equal to 110,000 pesos. The next step is to get the mortgage loan. Mortgage loan again is equal to purchase price minus the down payment and that's equal 
equal to 440,000 pesos. Step three, let's calculate the monthly interest rate. Now, since we are being asked for the monthly interest rate, annual interest rate divided by 12, we need to divide the given to 12. So in this case, 6% over 12. Again, to convert this to decimal, you just need to move two units to the left. One, two, that's going to be 0 0.2. 0 0.06 and using your calculator you could just divide 0 0.06 divided by 12 months and that's going to give you 0 0.005 in decimal now step four let's calculate the total number of monthly payments or the loan term so the loan term is 30 years so it's 30 years to pay and this is monthly so that means 360 months to calculate the monthly payment, let's use the formula. A is equal to I times P times the quantity of 1 plus I raised to the power of N all over the quantity of 1 plus I raised to the power of N minus 1. And let's write a given. So let's plug in all these values. So A is equal to I, which is 0 0.005 times 4,440,000 pesos times 1 plus 0.005 raised to the power of n n is equal to 360 because there are 360 months to pay at the denominator we have the quantity of 1 plus 0 0.005 raised to the power of 360 minus 1 now using your calculator you can easily compute this is equal to 2638 point zero two now it's important to put the decimal to be more accurate because this is just an approximation now it's time for the quiz feel free to take a screenshot of each question Alright, that's go. it for today. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.